Yeah, I remember folks why the unfortunate Nick Wilson is involved with this. I mean, he's in here to make sure he takes out Uncle Sin and prevents him from winning. And look at this. Oh, the book is blowing doing total middle range between Enforcer Nick Wilson. That's got his nine power bombs right here. Oh, my. Can't really imagine the Enforcer getting his revenge on Big Bird 2.0 and Uncle Sam here after that Davis devastating impact. This has got to be all. This is not all. you got to give him some huge credit. And that's a three count. Nick Wilson, Enforcer, the first eliminated, unfortunately, here. You know what that means, old Steve. That means basically the Enforcer getting involved in this sort of spirit match and taking Ross out. Oh my, that Samoa is a feeling folks being full kill of Brawl and Brawl is kicking down the boot. That would make it absolutely to no avail. Look at, oh, look at Tyler I run. Talk about Cole wins his. Look who, man, just look who imagines who comes out at number five. From Washington, D.C., he represents the highest power in the land. Uncle Sam! How cool convenient it is that Uncle Sam comes up, whereas the enforcer Nick Willis gets eliminated. That's how we're going to walk up the Of course, we talk about Uncle Sam and Brawling the Singer. You know he's going to be on the dominant. They're going to provide and conquer. They're going to team up and take up Bulls and Bulls and Samoa Joe and Dean. This is the same crap that the enforcer was worried about to begin with. He knew the cell or bull were going to be this is for a spare match. And he, and he knew that if Uncle Sam was with them, that they were those guys that was only in the wreck shop and the and the score of spare match, and, he, and you know that with these men working together, there's a good likelihood that they can own this year and win the score of spare match. This is how, this is how hard it would be for us here at UWA if Uncle Sam ends up main eventing, you know, this year's Panamon 11 and could be for the UWA Championship. As you can see, Uncle Sam comes in the matchup and immediately starts digging for some sort of extreme weapon, and it looks like him and Broly are strategizing here. Looks like they got a plan, and that plan is to get, I don't know what they're really reaching for here. Oh, oh no, my, no, no, not the kendo sticks. You see what men can do with these. That was no disqualification, anything goes, of course. And look at this, it's yet typical Big Brother 2.0 tag team work that you've come to expect here in this matchup. Oh, look at this, Uncle Sam, oh my, but Samoa Joe reversed it. I don't really know what Uncle Sam was going for, but whatever it was, Samojo able to counter. It looks like the red, white, and blue there is finisher, and Samojo able to... Oh, look at this! Look at that 4th full kill! It looks like he's going to get Tombstone Paw Driver! Now he's been busted open by... by Broly. Man, 4th and full kill has been really faring very well here in this sort of spare matchup. It's the name of 4th and full kill, but if you watch his videos, with me, with Fulker talking about TNA all the time. You know a lot of times Fulker's and Fulker's full of hot air. But sometimes he's going to be quite vindictive. Don't forget, I mean, you know, he comes bodily harm to Fulker when Fulker has to review a gimmick segment. And of course, it was Fulker and Fulker who hit Fulker. It's Fulker and Fulker who hit Fulker's suicide post for him when he had to, you know, when he had to review final resolution and look at this and now Uncle Sam hits the red white and blue on Samoa Joe there penning to the crowd of course like typical, typical Uncle Sam this kill rolls Samoa Joe over Samoa Joe could be eliminating the quickness here by Uncle Sam that'd be humiliating look at that only a, only a two count though but look at fourth dimension full kill oh my using that kendo stick to his advantage you know, absolutely not wasting any chance to use that gimmick Got Uncle Sam here. Those repeated brutal shots from that kendo stick. Might even broken it. Now took him down with that huge bulldog. Well, I'm sure people are wondering at home, you know, when it comes to food between fool killer and regular fool killer. You know, who's a better skilled athlete? But the thing is, Floyd and Fool Killer, according to him, he took all Fool Killer's powers when he took his sunglasses. So in theory, he couldn't have all Fool Killer's powers be more and if they're more powerful than Fool Killer. Look at this. Man, look at this. Both of the is setting up Uncle Sam for some type of maneuver, some really gimmicky maneuver, a lot of taunts and poses. And falls up with a simple, a really simple ball driver. 
I'm sure Fook was what he would do to call that gimmick overload. And every every segment of that move had a taunt. And look at this. And Brolin sends Fook to Fook here flying with that huge choke slam. I don't know if any gimmick will save Fulker and Fulker here and gets a limb of that huge choke slam. And it's off boots Samoa Joe after saving Uncle Sam there. And wait for some of that Kendo said, they're gonna look like a double team. Oh wait a minute! But boy turning on Uncle Sam, hitting with that Kendo stick. For a second there, it looked like Broly and Uncle Sam were gonna were stalking Samoa Joe, getting ready for him to come up and instead Boy turning around and going after Uncle Sam. And we're huge to the events for Big Bear 2.0. Whoa, what a He is the ace of spades. Move over. So here comes Sonya as the balls, the guts, the intestinal fortitude, the stamp of the might of Big Bear 2.0, despite the ascension between Broly and Uncle Sam we just saw. But obviously, Luke Bauer, some people say, is a hit on favor to win this year. He's, he could be the underdog, the dark horse to win this year's Spur the Square match. He had all the momentum going in this year's Spur the Square match, and he won that Spur the Square preview match on episode 42 of his fall. For, for Carl Luke Bauer is the most approved to everybody in this match tonight. I mean, for kind of a lot, he and Ross suffered a humiliating defeat by Big Bear 2.0. Oh, look at that! Luke going after Uncle Sam, a huge dive! And now Samojo bringing the table and putting Broly on it. And obviously after that huge loss, that claim to fame that the Ubay Originals suffered by Big Brother 2.0. I mean, the Ubay Originals was looking for a huge win to, you know, to put themselves back over and return their former glory that they had, you know, in the early part of last year. As you saw, Samoa Joe bringing that table in the ring and that's exactly what you need to do against a big man like Broly you're not going to be able to beat him just by simple moves or even your finisher you're going to have to go more the extreme route in this sort of matchup and especially well it's not really relevant now because it seems as if Big Brother 2.0 I don't know if they're done for or in the process of breaking up because I do not really know what was going through Broly's mind when he delivered that brutal shot from that kendo stick maybe he just realized that the only way he's going to win this match but it is, it is every man for himself. Look at Broly going for that Irish whip, but no, takes him back and delivers that huge side slam. Yeah, you see on the outside, Uncle Sam was systematically taking apart Uncle Sam. Look at this. And Broly absolutely was un, absolutely unfazed by Luke Fowler's diving rope flip right there. As clear as, clear as day at this point. Well, Broly turning his back on Uncle Sam here. Oh, Uncle Sam, thank goodness for Broly for his, turning his back on Uncle Sam because quite frankly, the wrong way to with Big Bird 2.0, that was been devastating. And all oh, that huge power bomb. And look at that, Luke Fowler is bashing that guitar over, the head of Luke, uh, over Samoa Joe there. And look at this, Broly kicking Uncle Sam like a piece of trash. And throws it look at this, cracks his back, his repeated Cobra Clutch Backbreakers. This could be setting up for a garbage disposal here. And yet, top back kick his back and throws him like a piece of trash, disposing him like garbage and taking out the trash. And how how fitting is it? That's paid for to Uncle Sam as he's trash. And for some reason, not going for the pin there. That's like, I don't know. Maybe Broly's actually allowing Luke Fowler to finish off Uncle Sam. Man, if this is true, could this have possibly been a face turn from Broly? <laughs> Who knows, man? These are the monsters of destruction. They are the type of tag team let their actions speak for them. Look at this. Oh, what a huge, a huge cutter by Luke Fowler there. And look at this. Man, Broly on top of the step start. That reverse. I think that back suplex on a Samojo barely missing the steel steps right there. That could have been the end of Samoa Joe as all as far, as far as we know it. Going back to Uncle Sam and, and Luke Fowler here. Luke positioning Uncle Sam on the top turnbuckle. And now it looks like he's going high risk. And oh my! Luke Fowler with that huge inverted suplex off the top rope. Through the well, the table didn't really break completely. One leg did collapse. 
But still, my God, you saw Uncle Sam contort on top of that table. And this does not look good for Uncle Sam. Look at Luke Fowler. And he hits the ace of spades on Uncle Sam. Can this be his long overdue redemption on the leader of Big Brother 2.0 here? Can Luke Fowler possibly show us that he's indeed awake and alive here tonight in this match? And yes, he does, eliminating Uncle Sam here. Luke Fowler's first elimination of this matchup. Maybe his mind first of many, who knows. But Luke Fowler, not stopping him, quickly goes after Broly, the other member. Good cross handle, two rings are run, and finally, you know, fight the battle and force her start for him. And look at this, well, business is about to pick up. Of course, here comes, you know, the, the self-proclaimed god of war. Here comes the destroyers looking for the maven spot of handle. From Heaven's Row, come on. He is the Dangerous Destroyer. I'm sure we all know that by now Panorama 11 is just emanating from Heaven's Row, Kem one from the, from the Heathen Dome. And of course, the Destroyer's hometown would love nothing more than to win this year's Square of Despair and compete in the main event for the UBA Championship. That will definitely be the biggest dream here in the UWA and will finally achieve immortality, but how are we going to go do all these men here trying to score the spare match? I mean, you talk about people like Samoa Joe. I mean, you're talking about Luke Bauer. I mean, I mean Super Saiyan Broly. You're talking about Jamie Heineman, Mitch Watterson, Vaughn Creed, so many others in here in, in the stretch of a fight like he's never fought before in order to survive tonight. But look at that. The second the story gets on the eighth and goes after Luke Fowler with that huge savat style kick. If you thought the Destroyer not giving in in that matter of respect match was impressive, just imagine what he's going to have to put his body through and tonight if he's going to come up on top. It's going to be hellish indeed. But look at the Destroyer going straight up the ball with the Kamayan Cyclone, taking him that big man right down. And look at the Destroyer. Oh my god, he's going three on one on these people. That's the Destroyer absolutely wrecking shop here tonight. And don't forget, Samoa Joe just score. Also, you two in front of last year's pandemic in that fatal four match. And look at this. And hits the Kimoni Destroyer on the outside four on the Samoa Joe and turns him over. This could be for Samoa Joe here. But look at that. Samoa Joe actually able to kick out. Thank goodness Samoa Joe actually did kick out. I don't know about you, but if Samoa Joe were to lose right there, I mean, it would have been pretty safe to say that Samoa Joe would pretty much been buried for the last time. Look at Samoa Joe finally coming back and putting a stop to this insane offensive momentum the story just brought out on these three men. This absolutely came out of nowhere. Just that, that berserker rage. Just where does he get that from? I guess that's from, that's from his power he's gaining from Odin himself. And look at this now. It's being up the crowd here. And Cleveland, Ohio, getting behind the Destroyer. I mean, all these fans here tonight just want to see the Destroyer main event. This is Pandemonium. And, of course, a botched move right there. By, but goes for it again and hits at that time. Look at this. Wait, Samoa Joe, the court, and superplex Luke Fowler to the table. Luke Fowler getting, getting cut in half going through that, that table in the middle of the ring. And look at this. Now Samoa Joe going for another table. Oh no, don't tell me he's going to try to put Luke Fowler to two tables. I mean, come on, this is the kind of thing that you would expect of two people that hate each other. And I can't remember Luke Fowler or Samoa Joe getting on each other's bad side. Come on, Samoa Joe. Not two tables. This is too much. No, 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 come on. I thought the spot was eliminated when Black was botched earlier. Come on, what? That was, no. I guess we're seeing where did they preset another table on, of gas to make sure that spot does happen though tonight, but of course I'm not going to tell you who gets on the receiving end of that spot. You gotta be freaking kidding me if that if Smojo's gonna try to put Luke Fowler through that. I mean, I saw Black Rose, he had to be taken out on EMTs earlier. I really don't want to see that happen to the ancient space Luke Fowler. Uh, these four men is absolutely brutalizing each other. You have a good idea at this point now what it means for these men to main event. This is pandemonium. And these men here tonight already in the first half of the match. And look at this smoking. And oh my goodness, muscle punch with the free table. 